Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, we're going to go over AOKP for the Nexus 6 today. Um, yes, this is a little bit of a blast from the past, but actually it's not really the past because this is a very, very up-to-date build. Um, I wasn't even aware that they were uh, continuing on with the building process um, with AOKP because it is Marshmallow. And it, from what I was told, they actually do have some builds out uh, of Nougat. Uh, you guys know my feelings, at least right now, about Nougat. Uh, I'm not very happy with it. Uh, to be quite honest with you, my, my daily drivers right now are all, uh, are all Marshmallow ROMs, with the exception of, of 6 ROM. Um, I do run 6 ROM Nougat um, to keep up with the Nougat source and what's going on, news, updates. But my daily drivers are Marshmallow. Um, I, I just think Google killed it. When they went to nougat now i'm hoping and i do see changes coming um, but right now um nougat's just not my uh just not my rom i'm going to stick with marshmallow anyways let's go ahead and get on with this uh this is aokp for the nexus 6 i'm not sure if it's built for any other devices um actually they are building for other devices uh this is android version 6.0 or 6 dot zero dot one um and the security patch is december so yeah it's not january and obviously not february but uh december is fine with me um it's definitely keeping up uh you know as far on the security patches uh, updates as i need and i've told you guys in the past those security updates are not really that important to me i don't keep anything on my device that i wouldn't want somebody to get anyways um, I just, I just don't use my phone that way. I get it. Uh, I understand how other people do the, use their phones like that, and you know, and I, I wouldn't try to argue with you. Um, I understand. Uh, but for me, my phone, I use it for fun. I use it to make calls, and I use it for you know development purposes and, and testing. Uh, I'm not looking for security, um, and I like that's why I like Marshmallow. Uh, it's secure enough. Uh, with, the, you know, at least December updates, um, and I'm just going to stay with it until Nougat uh, finally gets some theming uh, to the point that I like it, um, you know, I'm going to stick with Marshmallow. Anyways, uh, we are going to go into the ROM, co uh, ROM controls, which are uh, right here. Um, these are your slide-out controls from the side. Uh, you hit that hamburger, you're going to get those controls that come out. Uh, first up, obviously, is going to be about which is the home screen. Um, it tells you about the ROM, uh, the developers, a website, stuff like that. Uh, you can scroll down and look at the people who are involved uh, on the team, uh, the developers, um, you know, a lot of the contributors, uh, stuff like that. This is going to be where you find that at. Uh, it's going to be, you know, on this side over here. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, the general controls. Uh, clock settings are up first. These are going to be your widget settings. Um, very simple. I'm not going to get into it, but this is going to. It's just where you set your clock widget up at, uh, and uh, of course your uh, weather widget. Uh, next up is going to be uh, your recent settings. Uh, you do have your recent uh, panel, uh, your search bar, memory bar. Uh, actually, no, they don't have a memory bar. They have the search bar. Uh, recent and full screen. You know you're running apps and they have the clear all button uh you can pick where you want to put the button at um and of course if you want to run with slim recents all the way at the bottom uh and actually uh this i'm, I'm going to go back here real quick uh we're going to jump ahead and go into themes because i want to disable uh the theme i'm running i was testing some mixes uh, and I want to try to make this so that we can read it uh, so you guys can see it uh, very well. And I do know that there is one theme on here that shows very, very good. So I'm just going to go ahead and set everything to that, which would be, uh, not tang, it's, um, tell me I don't have it loaded, neon colors. We're going to go with neon colors. Um, and for this one, we're going to go with neon colors as well. As soon as I get it here, here we go. Click the uh, click the update. Let it go ahead and update, and uh, we'll go back into system and settings. There we go. Back into ROM control. Uh, pull out the sidebar. Um, next up is going to be lock screen. 
Uh, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything in general, which was, uh, yeah. Uh, after recent settings, of course, um, you slide to the right. That's going to bring up your wake lock blocker. Uh, guys, if you don't know what a wake lock blocker is, I highly suggest you don't mess with it because you can actually stop your alarms from turning on and off, uh, from getting your text, phone calls, all that stuff. So, you know, if I were you, I'd definitely make sure you know what you're doing before you shut off uh, any anything in that uh, area. Um, okay, under lock screen, uh, you have your wallpaper, um, you know, your, your clear screen uh, wallpaper. Um, they do have the blur effect on here. If you like the blur running uh, on your lock screen, uh, as opposed to just a general look, uh, you guys can definitely use that. Um, they just got a lot of settings for your lock screen. Um, nothing over the top, but, uh, you know, enough to make it, you know, uh, custom and you're wrong. Uh, status bar settings are up next. Um, carrier label, uh, you know, you can throw whatever you want up there. As you guys can see, I'm running custom. And I actually have AOKP in my upper left-hand corner in my status bar. Um, they do give you the option to color it as well. Um, also, they have the logo, the AOKP logo. You can run with, uh, you know, your Android uh, Open Kang project uh, logo. You can color it if you want. Uh, brightness control, uh, super user indicator. Those are all icons that you want to show on your status bar if you want. Uh, slide to the right is going to bring up the status style. Uh, battery I do have hidden because um, it comes with three minute mod baked right into the ROM so those of you like me who like the three minute mod uh, you don't have to do anything but download the uh, or install the app from the Play Store it's that simple uh, install the app and bam it'll come right up you don't have to hit um, you know restart system UI none of that they're not having any of those issues it's working a hundred percent so I have mine hidden uh, they do have the battery bar uh, so if you want to run with a battery bar, you know, go for it. Uh, those are your positions you use, and you can color it, and charging indicator, and all that. Uh, clock, basic clock settings, right, left, center, or none at all. You have your AM, PM, date, date style, format. Uh, you can color it if you want. Um, they do give you the font size. Again, this is a feature I really love. Um, on some ROMs, or on some devices, the screen is so small that I have to have that set higher so I can see it. So kudos to them for throwing that in there on that. Uh, just, you know, a good pat on the back to AOKP uh, for, you know, for even keeping this ROM in Marshmallow up to date. Uh, I hope they continue it. I really do. I don't think they're going to, but I, man, I hope they do, you know, honestly. Uh, networking traffic, it's next. If you guys want to run with network traffic, uh, go ahead and, you know, run that. Uh, that lets you know if you have data coming in, going out. If you're having a data uh, issue where... Uh, you know, you're, you're leaking somewhere, something's, you know, all you got to do is turn this on, you can see it when it's going out, you can see it when it's coming in, uh, that'll give you an idea of uh, uh, where your data is going. Um, notification drawer is up next, uh, you do have your quick pull down if you want to run with that, as well as the smart pull down, uh, they do give you the three tiles per row showing, uh, you can change that, uh, four or five, um, I like to go with three, that's your columns basically. Um, uh, you have your show weather, uh, your time contextual header, uh, which I am running uh, with that. And um, I don't think they actually give you any choices to go with that. It's basically what, you know, it's, I think it's what they call nature. Um, and since, since this is running with uh, more of the CM uh, type uh, theme system, you, you can't change that unless they actually put in a header pack which I think you may be able to do yourself if you know how to get into your file system and push files. You could probably put some header packs in uh, all on your own. Um, you have your task manager colors. You can obviously uh, pick colors if you want. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the notification panel. Uh, hardware keys are up next. This is going to be your power button, volume keys, you know, uh, your, uh, you know, arrows, you know, for, for your um, uh, keyboard and all that. Uh, power menu. Whoops. Uh, they do give you quite a few options um, to choose from for your power menu. And that's not it. Power button. Oh, okay. Uh, they don't have the power menu on here yet. Uh, control ringtone. You have your key, uh, your keyboard, cursor, control. Again, you know, like I said, pretty much anything that's uh, a true button or your, your keyboard is going to show up on these controls. Power menu is next. Uh, they give you quite a few options on here. Not like... 
uh, Resurrection Remix or Pure Nexus or Six or anything like that. But, you know, plenty. Definitely enough to get around. You guys know I like to use my power menu uh, for navigating uh, pretty much like other people use their quick settings. Uh, nav bar is up next. Uh, it's going to be where you set up your layout, uh, your nav bar buttons. Uh, you know, if you want to go left-handed mode, uh, your bar height, all that, that's going to be there. Uh, you can even color it if you want, but if you're running a theme, uh, this may conflict with the theme that you're running. Although, I will tell you guys, I was doing some testing with it, and I had a color picked for that, and it was the themes were overriding the colors perfectly. Uh, so I wasn't getting any con or con conflicts with that, but that's not to say that you won't. Um, I highly recommend not coloring that if you're going to run with a theme. It just it's going to it'll save you headaches. Um, this is going to be where you can actually change the icons around. Uh, you know your nav bar icons around if you want. You just hit the edit button like that. Physically move the buttons where you want it. You click save. Bob's your uncle. Uh, they're all set to go. I'm not going to save it. Uh, I'm just going to go. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to go back to Pi Control. It's going to go back to the way it was because I didn't save it. Um, Pi is working great on this, guys. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on quick, show you guys what Pi looks like. Uh, and again, I do have it colored. And I did it crazy so you guys could see what kind of things you could do with it. Um, that's not to say that's my preference. But I wanted you guys to see the different color variations that you can go, um, you know, you can go crazy if you want with it. Um, so if you like to run with Pi, it's there. Uh, you do have your Pi targets, uh, your Pi color settings. Again, you go crazy with that. Um, sound controls. Uh, you have your camera shutter, uh, screenshot, safe headset volume. All that's going to be there. Uh, and then volume steps are uh, to the right. Uh, user interface. Uh, it's going to be your scrolling cache, uh, stuff like that. Swipe to the right is going to be gesture anywhere if you guys used uh, that. This is going to be where that's going to be at. Uh, animations are all the way uh, to the right. Um, there are really no animations on here that I use, uh, but still, it's good that they put them in there. Uh, so good on them for that. Um, and then, of course, you have app launcher. This is going to be your circle bar, uh, your sidebar, uh, stuff like that. Uh, okay, just the app circle bar. Um, and this is one of those features I love. You just basically click on, you click what apps you want to pick. And I'm just going to pick a few here real quick just to let you guys see uh, how it works. Uh, once you pick your apps, you click OK. Uh, that saves the apps. Uh, pick your trigger width, uh, height, and position, uh, and then you're good to go. So if I was to click back, now anytime I would press in that area, I would get this little circle with just the apps that I installed uh, in that uh, custom feature. Uh, so we're going to go back to this again, and I'm going to shut that off because I don't want to uh, inadvertently hit that uh, and screw up the video because we're almost done here. Uh, that was the uh, ROM control custom settings. Uh, display and lights, um, basic settings. There's nothing really uh, off or out of the ordinary that, um, you know, that I haven't seen with anything else. Again, since this is Marshmallow and not Nougat, uh, we do have notification lights with complete control. Uh, so you guys can go there to do and set it up with, uh, you know, however you like to set it up. Uh, your sound settings are here, basic sound settings. Uh, they do have the link, uh, your um, your notification and your phone calls. Uh, so if you want them linked together, just click that link. I actually like mine separated. Uh, kind of gives me a little more control. Uh, these are your other sounds. Um, this way you can fine tune it, you know, a little bit more to your liking. Get rid of them touch sounds. God, I hope I wasn't haven't touched sounds the whole way through this video but if I did sorry guys um, security's up next uh, obviously um, the first thing up is encryption if I was encrypted you would see right under there encrypted uh, but since it's since it says encrypt phone uh, that means I'm not encrypted so if I want to I can go ahead and encrypt it I highly recommend that you not encrypt your phone um, unless I mean if you guys need that security do it uh, you know it works um, you just have conflicts with some ROMs, and of course, some ROMs, you know, come, uh, you know, encrypted like Cyanogen Mod right out of the gates, encrypted. So, um, you know, it is what it is. It's it's it is a it's a preference. It's a personal preference, um, and there is really no right or wrong way to go with that. I've seen all the arguments, and trust me, it's a per personal preference. Um, that's about it. I uh, don't see anything uh, under security uh, that's out of the ordinary. So we're going to go ahead and go back. 
I will hit the developer options quickly. Uh, let you guys see that. Uh, this is, um, again, Marshmallow. I have to keep reminding myself it's not Nougat. Uh, they have the advanced reboot feature there. Uh, root access is right here. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm running with their root. I didn't flash super sue with this. I'm running with their root. Um, that's uh, your root access. Uh, they do have the restart system UI. I think it's pretty cool uh, right there. There are occasions when you need that. Uh, and if your ROM doesn't have it, you have to load a, a third-party app or, you know, an app from uh, the Google Play Store uh, and rely on that app to, do, to restart your system UI. And a lot of times, it won't work. Uh, so it's just nice that they put that in there. That's a feature I think all um, ROMs should have, whether it's custom or, uh, you know, a, a stock ROM. I think that's a feature that should be included or included in ROMs. Just my opinion, but... Um, make sure you have USB debugging turned on, uh, that way if you guys hit a wall, um, you know, this is going to save your ass, uh, believe me, you can push files through ADB and, and just save your ass, I'm telling you. Um, I'm not going to really go through the drawing section much because, uh, Marshmallow really kind of runs pretty good. You can go, uh, you can go all the way up to, uh, 1.0 on that and it runs great. Um, I am running at 0.5. Uh, just because I'm so used to NuGet, I just kind of turn it there. Uh, the multi-window mode is here uh, in the developer options, as opposed to you know all the NuGets. Uh, we're used to the NuGet uh, reviews. I just wanted to point that out as well. And uh, I can't think of anything else. You do have the kill app back button all the way at the bottom. You know this is Synergy mod based, or I guess lineage uh, based, uh, even though this is Marshmallow, so it is definitely Synergy mod. Um, again. I mean, they really uh, keep this up to date. That would be awesome if they would uh, keep Marshmallow going. But that's it, guys. Um, everything's working on, on ROM. I haven't had anything uh, drop off on this. Um, I usually keep uh, Resurrection Remix on. That's my go-to ROM uh, normally in Marshmallow. Um, but I think I'm going to change to this one, at least for a while. I like it. Um, I've always liked AOKP. Um, and I, and the, the features they have in this, they really stuffed a ton of features in this, and I like it. Um, yeah, I wish I could put some different headers up there, but uh, even Resurrection Remix, uh, you can't put header packs in. You have to run with what they have. Um, and, you know, it's like I said, if you know what you're doing with the file manager system, and you have root, you can get in there and stuff whatever you want in it. So, you know, maybe we'll work around and see if I can't play with it. Anyways, guys, I wanted to make sure that you did see that you do have options. Uh, if you are one of those people like myself that, that's not too thrilled with Nougat, um, they're still building uh, Marshmallow ROMs, and this is one of your options. Um, so I just want to thank uh, all of my subscribers. Uh, and if you liked the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one.